Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Explain it again. Right. In my opinion, okay? Like, okay, in, in my company, for example, I turn off every visual effect in Windows X. Everything. Absolutely everything. I might have smooth edges for fonts, and that's it. I, I, and maybe the, the mouse cursor shadow. But I turn off as much as I possibly can. The OS is there for a reason, and reason only, and that is to supply a user interface uh, so that the application, not even a user interface, a, a, a kind of a command structure, so that applications like Word and Excel, typical examples, will run. That you can save files over a network, that you can save files locally, that you can browse online, that it, it, it interacts with the network card properly. It hides all of that kind of low level hardware binary stuff. Okay? I'm sure people love widgets. I'm sure people love um, knowing that they can swap windows around. Fine, okay? But at the end of the day, the operating system controls the mouse, controls the pointer. You give the, the operating system the instruction, the operating system moves these things. But at the end of the day, you go back to the operating system. Go back to DOS uh, 3. That actually does pretty much the same as what Apex and Vista and Mac OS and Linux all do. Control the hardware. That's the responsibility of the OS, and I think it's a failure on companies to, to kind of concentrate on making the OS glitterized, or whatever you want to call Last it. Day, did you I, I, th I, think, I, I think they should just cut on, on, on making the whole operating system so... Well, to be honest, I actually had a discussion on Chris's stream. I actually think that the, the operating system is going to be done away with, and in a couple of years' time, you'll be booting your PC online. Yeah, you I agree. You won't have a hard disk. You won't have an operating system. I agree. Uh, I, 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 had, Chris, I was on one Saturday about three weeks ago, and I had this conversation with a lot of people. I, it stirred up a lot of interest, actually. But I, I, I agree. Like, the operating system's dead. Like, we're talking about Mac OS and stuff like that. The next area is for the likes of Microsoft or whatever to, to look at Optim you see, they, they'll have to go back to basics <laughs> because they well, won't be able to do all the fancy the, stuff the, once you go we're, online. We're talking Initially. 15, 20 years from now, if, if that. Well, no, you know, it, it's... No, I don't think so. I'd say you'd be looking at five years or less. No, 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 I no, 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 dude, 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 no, I think so. dude, I think dude, dude, I'm still having problems with mistake. Comcast, there's, there's, there's no, right now there's, there's in no in way, there's no way, until we have fiber, like, to everybody's doorstep, like, until the digital divide does not exist, there's no way that could succeed. But that's happening now, Chris. No, uh, well, maybe in now. Ireland, it's but... Happening at a very, it's happening at a very slow rate, very slow pace. I live in a major, I live in a major market. A major metropolitan area, okay, where there's about 750 to a million people in this in this city on a regular basis every day, okay, and we don't have fiber yet, okay. In the residential area, we don't. This? No, no. Do you know who would be the winner in all of this? Google is a, a company that's no. Well, maybe. Trust me. If they adopt Linux. Trust me. Linux is more. Well, Linux is more responsible in terms of being an operating system. Yeah, but Windows okay. There's a reason. Like there's a reason. You know. There's a reason for everything, and I, and your point is taken sure. that the operating system's function is it, it exists specifically so that you can use a computer uh, yeah. to develop software on top of. And I agree that the future of Linux may be in these. Uh, not just a full-fledged operating system, but specifically designed for one particular function, whether that's embedded, uh, an, an embedded operating system in a device, or whether that's uh, just a core operating system with just one application that's meant to run on that particular configuration. Where it becomes complex is when you have to interact with one point and another point. And that's where, again, I understand the future of the operating system may be in the cloud, where you don't have a local hard drive yeah. so much as you have just space. You just, there's the idea of. Putting up online. Right. Yeah. The idea of having something local is, is going to be foreign at some point, but I don't see that happening for maybe 10 or 20 years. 10 at the earliest, 20 maybe. But there's so much that's got to oh, happen Chris. between now and then that is so tied into politics. Uh, it's, it's, oh, yeah. it, with broadband, yeah. it's not even funny. There's no way. There's no way. It's, it's, yeah. it's a dream. Well, well, 
But people, uh, people who could concentrate on Linux, an open source project on this, would definitely t be taken up by a company, for example, such as Google, right? Look what they've done for email. Like, you can interact with email, uh, Google email, yeah. uh, sorry, Google mail. Or Gmail, yeah, but or Gmail wasn't the first web so email. Crazy. I mean, yeah, but come on. Docs and spreadsheets, notebooks, calendar, <laughs> it's all instantaneous. But, right, it wasn't the first company to do this. It just had a, enough clout and enough stature in the industry that it, it could spread the idea of it a little more further. And how old is Google, Chris? I agree, it's a young company. But that that's exactly. That, but and but technology is but com okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Comparing webmail to replacing a full-fledged yeah, operating yeah. system—that's a tremendous leap. I can't even make that leap. But but the operating system, no, the operating system, if you make it online, Chris, will be a, diff a totally different Okay, category. understand, that's the way you it's going anyway. Why, okay, Data Lore, I agree. I, I agree. It's going that way anyway, and Microsoft knows the writing's on the wall. Look at Silverlight. Look at this completely yeah. new platform that is inherently cross-platform. They know full well that the future of the operating system exists on the Internet. I know that. You know yeah. that. It's a question of when and how we're going to yeah. get there. They know that the future of the operating system is tied very tightly into the idea of virtual machines. Right now, what we're dealing in, in on the desktop with virtual machines is very, very basic, very rudimentary. I agree that some companies are concentrating more on the glitz and glamour, but you know, for a desktop at home, that's what people want. In the corporate world, in the working world, it doesn't matter. And that's why Microsoft has concentrated most of its firepower on the enterprise. And, and and we're starting. We we feel that at home because the operating system that we get in Vista is virtually the same experience as you might get in a, in a corporate environment. And I don't think that's what people want. I don't. They they want that that glitz and and, and flashiness uh, in in this experience at home. They want to feel a personal connection with their computer because the computer is should, personal. Like from a technical point of view, that should not be the oper the responsibility of the operating. Oh, come on. One of the best things that ever happened to computers was when Microsoft Windows came along. Hate them? Well, okay, DOS. Hate them or love them? That was the best thing because up until then you had eight, I swear to God, a million different operating systems that you could run on a PC. That was awesome, but at the same time, if you wanted a spreadsheet application, you could get it, but it would only run on this operating system or this computer or that computer. And that's the whole validity behind the idea of a DOS compatible or will work with DOS. I mean, that, that was the whole genius behind that whole move, and it needed to happen. We've now evolved to the point where instead of a unification of this stuff, we've now got a great mitigating operating system that completely decimates any kind of barrier, and that is the Internet. Now, the question is, is what kind of computer is going to be necessary to, be, to, to structure an environment where you have some amount of local control, and some amount of remote control, so to speak, or the operating system that doesn't exist inside this box, but out there in the cloud. I think the op you're always going to have an operating system controlling the machine. I mean, not, not, not how we think of it today, but you're going to have to have something that... Uh, the only thing I can think of is like an embedded XP or embedded Vista or embedded Linux, it's but in its very true. basic form, though. Right. Basic. Very basic. It's all going to no. It'll all be streamed because it's the only way that's going to be going to manage it. You're not going to be downloading. You're going to be streaming more. Right. If you think about it, when you open a file on your computer, it's actually handled as a stream. It's not a file that a clump of data you pull out. It's actually a file I/O stream that you use, and that will just be expanded a little more onto the internet. You will be streaming the information. You will stream the information coming from the source, and you'll be streaming it back to to write information, whatever it may be, a, a video file or a text document or whatever. But it's all going to be streamed. We're going to hear a lot more about streaming, and I think Google have it down pat. I think Google have it. For, from an application point of view, they've kind of put the car before the horse. And if they do come out with a Google OS and they adopt this strategy, there'd be no problem because the OS really is an application if you think about it. But here's the problem. We'll come back to it every single time. It is a limitation on bandwidth. Mm -hmm. That's not going to be the case, Chris, in a couple of years' time. Uh, I give it more than a couple of years. I give it at least 10. At least 10. No, I'd say 5. No, 10. 5 or less. 10. It's going to be an issue, and then, and then you're going to have people trying to capitalize on trying to charge you a subscription to access your data on, on the web or access your operating system. I mean, it's... Mm. 
It's the I future. Know, I don't see it that way. Whether you like it or not, I mean that's the future of the operating system but is still in big question. But I, if, it, if it's all streamed, you don't actually need that much bandwidth. This is my point. Uh, you can actually stream movies uh, online now. Uh, you, can stream, you can stream 700 megs to, to a gig and a half, right, to watch a, a high definition movie. Uh, you Just know, one movie. You know what? I guarantee you, in less than five years, we'll be doing this online. Okay, well, then you've got a, a rosier no outlook than I do. Like, 